What's up, MVBs? MVBs, MVB. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everyone is feeling like uh, they don't have ghost vomiting on them. Because don't you hate that, man? When you just like mind your own business and all of a sudden a ghost just vomits on you? It's the worst. Absolute worst. Anyway, where am I going with this? Um, oh, yeah, this band, Good Tiger. I'm so glad that this won the Patreon poll for the week. Well, it was second place, but I, I need to check out this band. Well, the song, because I know this band very well. Uh, I love, you know, the Safety Fire. I love Elliot Coleman, and I, I dig the first uh, album. And Elliot Coleman is actually one of the coolest musicians out there, in my opinion. Like, I love his taste in video games. Like, he's a big fan of, like, Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid and stuff. And it, it, some of the bands that he's been in, like, Sky Eats Airplane, uh, Tesseract and stuff, like... I don't know, I've been following this guy for a while, and uh, I've been following the Safety Fire too, so I'm a fan already, keep that in mind, but I haven't checked out anything from this album yet, because I was waiting for requests, because, you know, if you guys aren't excited for the music and uh, not requesting it, then I might not check it out, but lately you guys have been asking for Good Tiger, and I think it's about damn time I finally get them on the channel. Anyway, that is way too much chit chat, so let's get onto it, so let's fuck do it. Oh, wow, okay. I'm a fan. Give me like Fall of Troy vibes a bit with this one. I love that lead into the chorus. There's so many harmonies with the guitar work and the vocals and different layers and stuff. The song requires more lessons to properly dissect it.
So, I know these guys, and I've been following them for a while, so uh, for me, going into it, I already knew what their sound was, and to me, this sounds like good Tiger. It does. There's, you know, there's not much of a differentiation in, in comparison to the previous stuff that I've heard. It's still really good, though, because Elliot Coleman's vo vocals, like, he sings like an angel. He really does when he hits those little falsetto notes, and it's almost, like, feminine-like. Well, it kind of is, but it's fits the music really well here and I know when he joined Tesseract I didn't know if it really fit because it was a little bit more genty and heavy so I think that's why his vocals work really well with Good Tiger with the six strange just like kind of noodly playing like distorted slash clean kind of setting uh, tone to their guitars and it works really well and speaking of the guitars man like these guys are so good I love some of the riffs but it's not just like you know having a cool riff here and then doing like a nice lead it's how they blend in all these harmonies and uh, sequences to f make everything just kind of flow like those lead ins into the chorus just were so like seamless it was like actually insane how seamless it was and then when I went back into the lower end of the guitar and like doing the um, riff on the E or A string it sounded like uh, it just went back to that part like really well. So there's parts like that just flowed really well. This song was very seamless in terms of transitions and harmonies and melodies. Like this song had a lot of things going on all at once that it requires a few more listens to pick apart everything. But like on first listen, you can definitely appreciate all the talent that's being displayed. And drum work was really good too. Like the one thing that I can pick out apart was like, you know, I enjoyed the snare like ghost notes ghost notes ghost vomit maybe i don't know uh in in the chorus they were definitely audible there but like they were there to just accent the beats there were, oh, wasn't anything too show-offy but like it was still very like complimentary to what's going on in terms of guitar work um but yeah the structure like i think the structure was actually like a verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus but it's how they everything just flowed together so well in these different parts in those sections that just you know not feel like a total copy and paste and when the chorus does come like I love Elliot's uh, harmony, it just got stuck with you, like, the melody in the chorus was just really good, and like, that's important, because when you have a good vocalist, like, you need to have a good hook, and this song didn't really have that really catchy hook, but it did have that melody that just sticks with your head, and I think it's the second half of the chorus that I'm referencing, which was my favorite part in Elliot's uh, vocals. Uh, but yeah, the song was good. I definitely want to check out more from this album. I might do it on my own time. I don't know if I have time to film an entire album reaction because I was thinking about it. But yeah, those are my thoughts onto the track Ghost Vomit. I'm curious to know what you guys thought about the song, so comment down below. Spice up my life. Um, if I'm getting any core kids listening to this, what did you think of the song? You know, this is progressive metal, progressive rock, actually. I would probably consider this. So what did you think? It's a little bit of change of pace for the channel. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Until next time. Push.